Welcome back all you fragrance fanatics and beauty babes. Well, I finally got them in, the whole collection, and I am so excited to talk about them. Are you all ready to have an oodgasm? <laughs> We're talking about the oodgasm collection from K Alley. I got the vanilla one a little while ago. I only ordered that one specifically because I was like, I don't know, I just wanted to try that one. But then I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get the other ones. I might as well just get the other ones. So I did. And I wasn't even gonna get the cafe one, but I thought, you know what? What's one more? You know, <laughs> let's just complete the collection. So here we are. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about all of them today. First, we will go with the Oudgasm Vanilla Oud because that is the one that is um, the lowest level of oud. It looks like this. Well, I got the mini bottles. That um, You can pick up the mini bottles. I think they were like $30 maybe. Um, they, you know, they weren't too, you know, it wasn't too bad. Uh, just to be able to kind of test them all out. This one has praline, saffron, pear, Bulgarian rose, vanilla sugar, cashmere wood, white musk, oud, and oak moss and like I said we're starting out with this one because this one's like the lowest level of oud and then we'll go up from there and this one is it's sweet it's warm it's a little woody I consider it like gourmand but not in like a really sickly sweet crazy way like some of my caramel perfumes and marshmallow perfumes and you know things like that it's not like that but it is you definitely or at least I can definitely smell like the, the vanilla sugar it, it doesn't smell like brown sugar or anything like that it's it's like literally vanilla flavored sugar is what it smells like and then there's just this hint of, of burning just a hint And it's so smooth. It's so smooth. Oof. And and she is a classy late. Like this is a classy rich lady who's wearing this. Mm. The next one we're gonna look at is Oudgasm Rose Oud. This one has geranium, lemon, pear, Bulgarian rose, peony, oud vanilla, and cashmere. This one and the cafe one we're going to be discussing, these are kind of the medium grade of, of oud and strength. Like the vanilla one is the lowest grade strength, like low. And then these two are intermediate, uh, medium strength. And then the tobacco one is full on strength, but we'll get to that one later. So with the Rose Oud, full disclosure, I, so I've already tried these out and this one is definitely one of my favorites. And, and I didn't think it would be, but I'm glad I got the whole collection so I could just discover all of them and really decide, you know, like, you know, instead of just thinking like, oh, I'm not going to like that without even trying it, you know. Oh, again, this is so classy. A classy, rich lady is wearing this right now. Mm. It's a little warm, spicy. It's very fresh. It's floral, of course. It's got the rose in there. It's very, it's aromatic, a little woody. But oh, so smooth. Oh, so smooth. And you're gonna hear me say that a lot. You're gonna get sick of hearing me say the word smooth because all of these are so smooth. Smooth and, 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 and like rich lady. Th th those are the two words I'm going to say probably a hundred times in this video. <laughs> you might want to play a drinking game. You know, how many times, every, every time I say one of those words, take a shot. <laughs> Next, we're going to look at Oudgasm Cafe Oud. And this one has cappuccino, bergamot, mandarin orange, geranium, rose, oud, vanilla, white musk, and patchouli. And this one, 
it smells an awful lot like the rose oud. Except for the fact that it has like that coffee-ness to it. So think of what I just said with the rose oud, but add a coffee note onto it. And that's what it is. As well as smooth <laughs> and, and a rich lady. <laughs> Like, it's just like luxurious. Like, like I just picture like somebody wealthy wearing this. This is, this is not like, this is very nice. The only thing is I got this because it said cappuccino. It didn't say coffee. It didn't say coffee grounds. It didn't say coffee beans. It said cappuccino. So I was thinking, okay, I'm, I might like this. Cause I don't, I don't know. I mean, you know, pretending like you haven't seen any of my videos in my past, you know, hi, how are you? <laughs> um, I do not care for coffee in perfumes. I don't like it at all. I love coffee. I drink coffee all the time. And I love the smell of coffee. Strong, you know, fresh coffee. I just can't wear it on me. I can't. It just, I don't like it. on. I don't know. I don't know. But if you do like coffee scent you, you're gonna love this love it love it um i was thinking that the cappuccino was gonna be more like vanilla sky i think by skylar i'm pretty sure that's the name of the perfume that one has like a cappuccino note in it and that one is very sweet it's very sweet and creamy and um with i think it had caramel or something to it i can't remember exactly what it was but it was much sweeter and, and this is more like a, this is a sugar-free cappuccino. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's not as milky as other cappuccino perfumes and it's not as sweet. So because of that, I'd have to say this is my least favorite one. If it was just a little bit more milkier and sweet, then I'd be all for it. But but this smells like straight up like like black coffee beans or like a completely like sugar-free cappuccino completely. Um Yeah, I mean it's so it's so nice on paper. It really is, but I just can't wear it. I can't wear it on me, but, but it's, but if you like that, then you're going to, you're, you'll love this. You will love this one. The last one from their collection is called Oudgasm Tobacco Oud. This one is, is the heaviest of them all. This is the, this is the powerhouse here, the tobacco oud. And this is very, um, unisex, very unisex. So if you don't really like those types of things then you won't like this one. This is, it has honey, mandarin orange, clary sage, geranium, plum, saffron, clove, benzoin, tobacco, vanilla, praline, oud, and patchouli. It's this warm, spicy, oh, it's a honey tobacco. Oh, this tobacco is just, oh, it's just like juicy with honey. I mean, not that tobacco would be juice, like squeezing honey out of it, out of, but, but that's what it smells like. It smells like a, just like a, a juicy tobacco honey. Mm. It's really fresh. And this one, the other ones, other than the vanilla, the Cafe Oud and the Rose Oud, I don't get too much of that smoky vibe um, that other people were talking about. I, I do, I, in the vanilla and in the tobacco, I do smell a little bit of smokiness, just a little. I would say it's more in the tobacco one than it is the vanilla one. Oh, but that, that honey tobacco is just, oh. and then I can smell that saffron. Oh, I can smell it. And then you get this praline and it just turns into this night. It's smooth. It's smooth. I know. I said the word again. Smooth. And just so classy. 
Like I just picture like a real rich man with a briefcase. Or like a boss lady. I really, oh, I really like this one. This one's one of my favorite ones too. Mm. So, one thing to mention here. If you're thinking about picking up the whole line, I would recommend getting the, like if you think you're going to like all of them, I'd recommend getting the full size bottle of the vanilla oud and then getting the smaller bottles of the other ones. Um, because you, the vanilla oud can be layered with all of these. Like if you layer it with the cafe one or the rose or, or well, or the tobacco, any of them, you're going to get this other, it like amplifies the scent even more and makes it a little bit sweeter. So with the cafe oud, you know, it could, it could make that coffee note a little bit sweeter. Although still, I really, you know, just not a fan of coffee, but but like with the rose oud, make that sweeter, you know, and just, um, so, you, so you can, you can really like layer these up with these. And I even, I even found out that you can layer these up with vanilla 28 as well. Um, I haven't done it with all of them yet, but I did with the vanilla and did I do it with the rose or the cafe? I think I did it with the rose one and it was good. Um. But yeah, so I, so if you had the, the vanilla 28, I would, you know, you could try that out and see what you, see what you think. Um, but yeah, so this is the entire collection. Um, I would say, you know, like I said, the vanilla is the least strongest. The rose comes next, then the coffee one, they're kind of in the middle. And then the tobacco one is the strongest and more leaning more unisex masculine and um and if I had to decide like how my favorites are like I don't know like I really I don't know which one I can't decide I I can't decide oh. like the rose it, when I smelled that I was like wow I think I like this better than the vanilla but then I went back and smelled the vanilla and I'm like, no, I really like this. <laughs> and then I smelled the tobacco and I'm like, wow, this blew me away. Like the tobacco, when I first smelled this, blew me away. So I can't really decide which one's my favorite. I like them all. Um, and, and you know, if you like, if you like coffee, you will love this one, this cafe one. Um, I think that's all I needed to cover. I would love to know what you all think about these. Have you tried them out? Are you excited about them? Or could you care less about them? Um, you know, just, I, I, I love to talk to you all in the comment section and, uh, and see what you all think. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Bye.